Hey everyone, um, so awesome to be here and thank you so much for having me. My name is Rosie, um, I use she, her pronouns and I'm co-founder and CEO of Project Rocket. And Project Rocket is Australia's youth super movement against bullying, hate and prejudice. So today Project Rocket is a national organisation that trains up passionate young people and sends them into schools all over Australia to run workshops with school students that basically get to talk about the stuff that we didn't get to talk about when we were at school and yeah, help young people build their capacity as leaders to basically tackle bullying, hate and prejudice, but also re-engineer the kind of world that they want to live in. For me, when I was at school, I was probably one of the majority of people in a bullying situation and that's the audience. So those that see it um, and can do something about it. And in those moments, sometimes I stood up and sometimes I didn't. Fast forward throughout school and you know, finishing school, I was one of a group of people that finished feeling pretty happy and confident and ready to take on the world. But I was really like sick and tired of seeing the way that bullying had really destroyed the lives of many of my friends. And I see a really massive problem that I don't feel like anyone is addressing in a way that works or really reaches young people and respects young people and listens to their opinions. Um, and I look around and I see that no one's doing anything and that someone should do something. And essentially, yeah, we decided that we could be those somebodies. But this is also um, maybe at the point of my life that many um, of your community might relate to. And that is when I finished high school, I was ready to like take on the world. I thought life began after school and it was pretty anticlimactic, to be honest. Like I thought I'd get to make a difference in the world and like, you know, fulfill my potential and like get to create stuff. And actually going to university, like that was really underwhelming. And I really just wanted to build something and create something and challenge the status quo and be creative and innovative. And back then I'd never even heard the word entrepreneur, but now I know that that's exactly what I really wanted to build. And so it made sense to me then and there having finished high school to, to launch Project Rocket to give it a crack and back then it was just a community project between two sisters that was a business in schools um, but it's since grown into an organisation that's now reached half a million students in our world around the country. Well, all those years ago we decided um, to do something a bit different essentially and you might ask like well how did you go about creating workshops out of nowhere. Like, first of all, what was your qualification? And my qualification was this. I was a young person. That is literally it. I didn't need a degree. I didn't, I definitely, I had no business experience whatsoever. I'd literally just left school. Um, but I knew the problem inside and out. I saw the way it really affected my peers and myself. It desperately needed fixing and I had a vision to fix it, a way to fix it. And that was all I needed. Those four things is all I needed to, to get started. Um, and so basically we built the workshops around all the things that didn't work when we were at school. When I was a student and I'd have like some really old person maybe come in, does not get us at all, kind of waggle their finger at us, lecture us, judge us, just be so negative, um, basically try and just scare us into being good. There was, it didn't value our intelligence, um, or like boring PowerPoint presentations. It was all doom and gloom. And so we decided that there was going to be none of that, that it was going to be positive. It was going to be uplifting. It was going to be by young people for young people, for starters. Um, and yeah, it was going to be show, not tell. There was going to be jam packed with like interactive fun and games and social experiments. It would be memorable, exciting, inspiring. And yeah, that's sort of how we began um, running the workshops in schools. And, and now the workshops in schools, um, have only evolved even more. Like I'll just show you everybody's sort of having a bit of lunch at the moment. But now, yeah, Project Rocket hires um, really passionate and diverse young people um, to go into schools and, and so powerful. We see how powerful that model is. So many students in you know regional and remote parts of Australia that might feel like they're the only person like them that exists in the whole world. But to have someone from Project Rocket come in and talk about these issues and relate to them in such a way in which they don't feel so alone um, is incredibly powerful stuff. So yeah, engaging young people on these issues can be pretty tricky. I think um, they definitely expect a cringe, expect a lecture. So we don't lecture, we ask questions and we listen to the answers and we come up with the solutions together as well.
were impacted a lot by COVID. I think um, where our customers is schools, almost exclusively our business is schools. And so it felt like COVID happened in, a, in about the space of 30 seconds in March. There was a day in March. Um, it was right before we all went into lockdown. There was a looming press conference happening. We started to catch a little bit of wind from schools that they were you know, a bit apprehensive. But then within one day, we had $80,000 in cancellations of workshops. You know, over the course of the month, our business had an 80% downturn in fees from coming in from school workshops. But really for us, um, it posed a really great opportunity. One is to stop what we're doing and to listen to young people and to educators and to really sit in the mud with them and find out what is it that you need right now? Do you need us to help you? Do you need us to hold back? Do you need us to create something new? Um, and fortunately for us, our skill set is also digital. So we've actually been um, leveraging technology to create online curriculums, resources like Project Rocket TV, which is our Google sponsored free online resource created by young people for young people that really talks about hard times, tough stuff, tricky, like weird issues that you feel a bit compromised asking an adult, or if you typed into Google, you could get a really dodgy response. Um, and so we ha already had these like, huge strengths as an organization in terms of creating content, listening to young people, building out digital workshops. So we had those capacities as an organization and the, over the resounding word from schools was like, no, we, we need your help. So our team went underground and in three weeks, we built eight online workshops for primary school students and secondary students that not only help them navigate the uncertainty of COVID and really help them manage their peer connections because everyone was at home and totally isolated and support their digital well-being and resilience. But it also proved really effective in tackling a lot of the online harms that happened as a result of young people being online way more. So the eSafety Office of Australia found that in the first um, month of COVID at home, people living at home, there was an 80% increase in image-based abuse reports to the e-safety office. So we knew that, you know, these issues were spilling further and further online. And so, yeah, our team were able to support 66,000 students online just in the last half of 2020 alone. And so, yeah, for us, COVID was really hard. I think though, at the same time, it was our most impactful year. Um, we learned a lot. I learned a lot as a leader around leading through chaos, leading, leading my team Prioritize, prioritizing well-being over everything. Um, letting Project Rocket be the point of stability for all of our team and really trying to, um, yeah, create a place where people can show up and use the power of helping others to actually support themselves through through crisis as well. So it also showed this, our strengths as an organization and our ability to be really agile and innovative and creative. And it's really paid off. I think it's really strengthened our business and. Fortunately, schools are back. We've got teams all over the country this week um, running workshops in schools. We've, we've got all these digital workshops, which is still doing really great. Um, and so, you know, we, we made it through quite well, fortunately. To position Project Rocket as a sort of go-to youth cyber safety partner when it comes to these issues. That's really important for our organization for a couple of reasons. One is that Social media is a huge influence on young people and young people is a huge influence on social media. And we really believe that, um, you know, we are the creators of the digital world. It can't exist without us. And so it's our responsibility to actually engineer it and shape it in a way that is kind and compassionate and safe and inclusive and respectful and all the things that we want it to be. Reality is, it's not like that. It's not always like that at all. And so. For us, we want to make sure that we're, you know, providing a channel for young people to have a seat at the table, the biggest social media platforms, so that they can share their opinions, their ideas, they can hold them accountable, they can provide critical feedback um, around how they should be making the platform safer. So we do that by sitting on Facebook and Instagram's Global Safety Advisory Board as the only Australian members, and also Twitter's Trust and Safety Council. But we also team up with TikTok and Snap and we create really um, fun, high impact campaigns and events and initiatives that basically allow young people to lead the conversation on these issues. So the most recent um, partnership we're working on at the moment, actually the team's underground, creating our online adaptation of our Digital Ambassadors event, which was 
Um, a partnership with Facebook and Instagram. In 2018, they invested a million dollars in our team to create this really awesome, inspiring live event series that saw us travel around the country and basically assemble and unite teams of young people that would then be sent back into their schools to train their other young people, their other students to create change against bullying. So we're, we're in the bunkers at the moment, like digitizing all of that for obvious reasons. But yeah, th these, these partnerships are a really great opportunity for us to, to influence and shape for good these platforms and the way they behave and make sure they're accountable. And in return, um, they allow us to scale our reach across Australia and make sure that no matter where you live in this country, you can access Project Rocket and use credible uh, information on these topics. Well, for starters, there are 9,600 schools in Australia and we want Project Rocket to be in them in some way or another. It could be face-to-face uh, -face workshops, it could be one of our online digital workshops. It could be through Project Rocket TV. It could be through, uh, you know, a brand new partnership that's going to help us really innovate and scale what we're doing. Um, but ultimately, um, yeah, we, we want to make sure that no matter where you, you, you are in this country, you are accepted and you're valued and you're seen and you're supported and that your diversity is just celebrated and you're free to be yourself. Um, whether or not I'm at Project Rocket and doing that or whether I'm just doing that elsewhere, I don't know, but I do know that, um, you know, being a social entrepreneur or, or I prefer like being a social change maker is, is entirely who I am. You know, um, I've learned so much growing Project Rocket and building Project Rocket over the years. It's only cemented in me even further that every single one of us on this planet has not only an enormous amount of power that we don't even realize we have to create change, but actually all of us have a responsibility to do so. And I think there are so many different ways in which we can do that. Being a change maker or a social entrepreneur isn't like a one size fits all t-shirt that, you know, you don't have to be a, the one way. Actually, you just have, the, have to have the courage to really be who you are and let that shine. So if you're, you know, passionate about music, um, you, you know, you want to tackle body image because, you know, you've been affected personally or you want to change the landscape on that. Be a singer songwriter that tackles body image. You know, like I think we don't need to change who we are. We need to lean in further to who we are and recognize that we all have an incredible power to make an impact in this world and that we're gonna have an impact. Doing nothing has an impact. And so, yeah, for us to reflect on what we want our change to be and then to start small and every day work on that change. Maybe the last thing that I'd like to say for anyone that's maybe starting out is that if I had any idea what Project Rocket would become, I don't know if I would have had the confidence to do it. You know, for us, we, it was so simple. We saw a problem, the desk we needed fixing. We had a new way for how we thought we might be able to fix it. We had no idea if it was gonna work. So many reasons to not do it. More, way more reasons that we'd fail than succeed but we did it and you know there have been so many ups and downs over the years but just to keep at it I guess would be the biggest biggest piece of advice and to try not to compare yourself to all the other initiatives out there that you're seeing on social media the glossy shiny amazing images that people post on social media that make you maybe question or doubt yourself is yeah my, my biggest piece of advice is to back yourself and to keep at it and to try not to compare yourself to others but instead Try and lead the way and then share your learnings with those around you. So we are Australia's Youth Driven Movement Against Bullying, Hate and Prejudice, and we would love you to come on board and support um, our young people, as well as um, support these messages that kindness and respect can thrive of all the hate that we see out there. So you can find us across all social media using the hashtag or, or handle um, Project Rocket. Rocket is spelled R-O-C-K-I-T. Or you can head to projectrocket.com.au, sign up, become a member, stay updated. Um, and we're always looking for young team members to join us as well. So if you're looking for a job to kickstart a career in social change, follow us on social media because we're always hiring with some pretty cool roles.